Hello everyone and thanks for watching again another A Gorilla Travels adventure. This time we are in one of the most historically and culturally rich cities of Italy, Florence. And uh, right now we are on the Piazza del Duomo, named after the dome of this giant basilica, which we will be seeing more of later. And uh, there's so much to see here in Florence, the birthplace of the Renaissance. Uh, me and my colleague Peter here can't wait to show it all to you, so uh, stay tuned. Florence was the center of medieval European trade and finance and one of the wealthiest cities of that era. From 1865 to 1871, the city served as the capital of the Kingdom of Italy. It is considered to have been the birthplace of the Renaissance and has therefore been called the Athens of the Middle Ages. Its turbulent political history includes periods of rule by the powerful Medici family, of which we will be hearing more in this episode, and numerous religious and republican revolutions. We are now back on Piazza del Duomo, the heart of the city. Here in just one glimpse you can instantly admire some of the main monuments of the historic center, mainly the Basilica of Santa Maria del Fiore and its iconic bell tower. This square is one of the most visited places in Europe and the world. The baptistry of San Giovanni Battista, the octagonal building in front of you, is one of Florence's oldest places of worship. Its appearance is strongly characterized by a combination of Romanesque and early Christian architecture. In the medieval period, it was believed that it was once a pagan temple consecrated to Mars, which was later transformed into a church. Giotto's Campanile is a freestanding bell tower and one of the Florentine showpieces of Gothic architecture, with its rich sculptural and colorful decorations. The slender structure is square in plan and almost 85 meters or 280 feet tall. Let's take a closer look to really feel the height of it. Pretty tall, right? Up for a little exercise? It is possible to climb the 414 steps to reach the top of the tower and enjoy a marvelous view. The waiting line was a bit too much for us since we had so much more to see in Florence. Time to move on. The Palazzo Vecchio or Old Palace is another one of the city's treasures that can't be missed. And because of its sheer size, it is actually very hard to miss. It stands for the political power of Florence first that of the Republic and later of the Medici dynasty. Today it retains its allure as the seat of the city council and there's uh, currently uh, a Ferrari event being hosted here because they are celebrating their 1000th participation in the Formula One. 